Thank you so much for joining us for our podcast here first. It is a podcast designed to help you, the people at Chester First Baptist Church, know what's going on in a way to share with you our God-driven ideas. And as always, I am joined with Senior Pastor Dr. Mike Fogerson. How are you doing, Mr. Associate Minister Ridge Fogerson? I am doing all right. Our house has been kind of under... My brother has COVID, people that don't know. The bad kind. The bad kind, of course. And I'm quarantined because I don't have the vaccine. But you and Mom, you guys both have the vaccine. We have been fully vaxxed. We've had our shots. We've been distempered, wormed, all the things. Parvo, kettle and cough, all of it. Yeah, so we've just been enjoying quarantine. You know, I I rewatched Outer Banks. Season 2 comes out Friday. So, I mean, I'm ready for that. Yeah, me and Mom have been staying out of the house. There, there you go. That's probably, really have. probably a good idea. You'd probably get We sick. went to Patty's Settlement this last week. Uh, we took a night a night trip down there. That was fun. We had a good time. I bet we don't that ever was get hot. to do that. I bet that was hot. It was so hot. And the, the you know, the, what? the food was meh. It was okay. Really? It was. I've it never was, eaten there. It was sort of like, I think it was like a, uh, it was like Lambert's Light. Um, Did they throw rolls? There were no throw rolls. In fact, I don't even... Oh, but they did have the flower pot bread, like they used to have out at Pioneer Cabin over in Willisville. Oh, okay. Now, that was not too... That was awesome. Um, they had this, like, a strawberry jam. Okay, yeah. Which was on point. Pioneer, so, Ca- Pioneer Cabin, is that what it was called? Yeah, that's what Pioneer Cabin yeah, was called. that place was... But the bomb. Patty Settlement there in Grand Rivers, Kentucky, it was good. We had to make reservations and all that jazz, but it was a good night away for... Your mom and I, we had a good time. It was, it, was, it was good. It sounds good. And this week, we enjoyed a night off. We've been, we had, this was our first night off. We got another one next week because we finished up our, what was it called? How Happiness Happens Connect Groups. That was yeah. a six-week class. We finished that. But we're excited to get back in two weeks. I don't know the date for sure. It's, it's August 11th, 10th and 11th. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what, with those two weeks built into Connect Groups, it's a good breather. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the people have to enjoy it because... Uh, Miss Pam and I enjoy it. We love that breather. We we like those two weeks off, just kind of recharging. And what we're finding is we're actually anticipating and looking forward to going back to Connect Group. It's like, oh man, this doesn't feel right. You know, it's nice to rest, but it's also nice to to get back in into the swing of things. And we're we're shooting for for eighty percent of our uh, celebration gatherings or our worship services to be connected into a Connect Group. Uh, that's the progress that we want to see people make in their discipleship, growing their faith. And what I'd like to see is our online folks who join us for online celebration gatherings on Sunday mornings to consider uh, registering for our Connect group online, which will start on August 10th. It's a Tuesday. Our onlines are always Tuesday, and it'll be on Facebook. You can go to our website, chesterfbc.org, to find out how to get that, how to order your books. And we are doing a study called The Bait of Satan by John Biver. And it's going to be a six-week study on how not to pick up a fence, how not to stay angry when somebody's hurt your feelings, and how to deal with people who do hurt your feelings and make you feel less than. Well, I'm looking forward to that. That starts in... Two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks, yeah. But I, I really want people to come and, and do life together, and that's where connect groups... Um, it's where it happens. It's where you connect. That is where you connect. But I'm going to tell you where there's also a lot of connecting was last Friday. We did our, our Jesus League. Jesus League. That was awesome. That was a fun, full-day event. Started at 9, nine I think. Well, yeah. earlier than that for some of them because uh, we had to help set up the inflatables, serve breakfast from 8 to 9. Yeah, there was people there like 6 o'clock, I think. It was crazy. Yeah, it was fun, though. We had teaching, obviously. We had inflatables, worship. You preached a little bit. We had Chief Bobby Helmers and Chief Marty Burt, you know, yeah. police department and fire department there. She had a uh, awesome. rescue, rescue vehicles were there, uh, shared the gospel. We shared how uh, the earth was in trouble and, a, and a, a father in the heavens sent his son to rescue humanity. And we're not talking about Superman, but we're talking about Jesus, the Savior. And we presented that to the kids and uh, introduced them to the story of Jesus, introduced them to the gospel, which is I mean, the most important thing about vacation Bible school, is telling the kids about the story of Jesus. But we had a really good time. Absolutely, yep. And then last and week... And thank you for all the people who helped make that possible, all the folks who did the decorating and the, the food prep and the Bible teaching and working out on the... Uh, Minute to win it games, uh, the worship team, kitchen team, decorating team. And we just had some good quality, 
quality, the guides, just the, the folks who registered, just good quality people. Yeah, the minute to win it game, that was the funniest part of the whole day. They, were, they, they did this game where you put a Oreo cookie on your forehead, and you had to look straight up without using your hands, and you had to try to balance it or roll it down to where you could eat it. And we actually did that before at the old Watt we used yeah, to Yeah, we are the body events. Yeah. And um, that was just, that was hilarious to watch. Where could they see that video? Because you did a montage of the highlights for Vacation Bible School. I have not uploaded that, but you could actually go back to last Sunday service on Facebook. But you could also go to our YouTube channel and you'll upload it. I will upload it. Yes, I will. I didn't want to step on any toes, but hey, I got permission now. So right that on. will be up. Yeah. And so last week you did the third episode of the chameleon series yep that was with uh, we are ambassadors gonna wrap it up this weekend gonna wrap it up this weekend with uh uh imitation jesus how uh if we're gonna stick out and speak up like someone then whom do we stick out and speak up like uh, we should imitate jesus and everything jesus did and does is from a platform of love and we're going to see uh, what it looks like for us to operate in that, that love that, that Jesus shows, that unconditional, unconventional, un, undescribable love of God and what that would look like if we really loved like God loves, that agape love. And the interesting thought on that is that we, we buy into the fact that God loves us unconditionally. God, God can never love us more than what he does right now. He'll never love us any less. There's nothing we can do to make God, God's feelings for us change because he has agape love for us. Now, do we have agape love for God? Or do we love God only when he plays by our rules or he gives us what we want or he answers our prayers our way? Do we have agape love for him? And the truth of the matter is we're supposed to. Uh, but, but, but we struggle with that. And when we struggle with it, what do we do? And we're going, to, we're going to unpack all that with uh, Chameleon, Imitation Jesus, wrapping it up this, this weekend, Saturday night at 5, Sunday morning at 10.30. For about the last two minutes, I've, had, I've heard absolutely nothing that you've said. Are those new glasses? No, but they are phenomenal. They match my clothes. Dude, I love them, man. Check out the shoes. Dude, the shoes look sick. Vans, huh? Yep, they match, they match the glasses. Dude, which match the shirt. The glasses look. Which match the wristwatch. Dude, I which respect is, the drip, dude. Which is why uh, people like your Ray Canopes and your Bryce Hills and your Paul Estels uh, make fun of me. But I, I, I like to accessorize. Dude, if I had glasses, that's what I would get. Those look good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, back on, back on topic, I guess. We are planning a back-to-school bash October 14th. I think most schools go back. Um, not October. I'm sorry. August. August 14th. I got issues. Sorry. And uh, the grade school, I think most schools are going back August 12th or 13th or something like that. And we're going to plan a back-to-school event for everybody, come together, just have yeah, some Yeah, back-to-school bash, block party type of deal. We're going to do it at uh, Cole Park on August 14th. Not October, August 14th. August 14th. Did I say October? I said October. August 14th, Cole Park, 5 o'clock. We'll do a worship set. Uh, we'll hear from the word of god we will have picnic food out there we'll have burgers and hot dogs I'm, i don't know if there'll be a brat involved i don't know at all that will be cooked but we'll have uh, we'll have a, a meal out there and while we're doing that man we've had church we've had a meal starting to cool down sun's going down we're going to do some frisbee golf we're going to do some uh we're going to do a bag tournament uh we're going to do some minute to win it games we're going to do that uh one of the cool games we did for the Just, uh, Jesus League Vacation Bible School Clinic, that cone game. Mm-hmm, that was awesome. That was fun. So uh, we're going to have a good time. But we're wanting to have a back-to-school bash. It's also an anniversary in the church, uh, First Baptist Church. Uh, it was established in August of 1937. So we celebrate that. So we're just going to have kind of a big deal to welcome the kids back to, to school, give them some encouragement, celebrate as a church, as a church family. What we're seeing in, in, our, in our church is we have like – uh, our Saturday night people and our Sunday morning people, and when 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 these people get together, it's like, man, I thought you stopped coming to church here. But what we're finding is that these two these two groups, lots of times their paths don't cross. 
uh, because Saturday night and Sunday mornings, 12 hours away from each other. So we're going to try to do a service where we all come together and have a good time on, on that particular Saturday night, August 14th, 5 o'clock, Cole Park. Love to have everybody and anybody show up. It's going to be a good time. Sounds like a blast. Thank you so much for joining us for our podcast here first. Big shout out to Chester First Baptist Church for putting this podcast on. Their vision is to love God, love people, and they're trying to live like Jesus. They have services Saturday evenings at 5 p.m. outside, weather permitting. They also have services Sunday morning at 10.30. Hope to see you there. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, you heard it here first. God bless.